Uh, yeah, John and I have worked together for about 14 years now. We met at college in Bath and started to collaborate not long after that. Um, at the moment, we only produce uh, video work that we have for the last, uh, last 14 years. Um, but actually, when we're in the studio, and all the work is studio-based, when we're in the studio, it, uh, it feels more as though we're dealing with, uh, with sculpture and painting and video, in a sense, as a way uh, to just get that outside of the studio and present it publicly. Um, the piece that's on the DVD is one of uh, a series of works uh, which is called The Notebook. There are 101 films um, which are made they're kind of 101 actions made and filmed on or around a table in a single room. Uh, we both trained as painters at college and uh, in the late 80s and I think what attracted us to, to video particularly was, um, was its potential uh, complexity. Um, dealing not only with, in a sense, picture making but also then introducing uh, sound and duration and I think that really it's a real challenge to, to work with the medium and to make it work successfully and also I think it's a good medium to collaborate in and I guess it's a question really of whether we collaborate because we make videos or we make videos um, because we collaborate. Uh, one of the great things I think about, uh, about video is, is, is the fact that it can be distributed in so many ways and that you can have, um, you can addition the work and sell it which in a sense enables you to become uh, to a certain extent self-supporting and support your career both in terms of making new work and supporting the activities around that. But then at the same time you can, um, you can distribute, uh, for example, what's, what's happening with, the, with this this tank DVD, you can distribute work uh, relatively inexpensively so people can actually get hold of it. It can be held in libraries and colleges so people can, people can see it and have access to it. And I think the other thing is, is that what keeps it constantly interesting is that one week you can be doing a, uh, a museum show, a solo show where you have multiple monitors and projections and it's very complicated, very complex technical setup. Um, and then the following week you can be in a, you know, in a group screening um, you know, in the underground in Budapest. And I think that keeps it constantly, uh, constantly interesting. This is, a <laughs> is this a trick question? Uh, how does an image move? Um, technically or how does an image move? You're going to keep this in this really, really long, stupid pause. Um, I, I think, I think in terms of technically how images move, we haven't got the foggiest idea how it all works. And in a sense, although I hate the term magic because it has certain connotations that you want to avoid, um, there is a certain magic about it. And I think that, I mean, we've started using mobile phone, uh, mobile phones to make very short clips and to be able to kind of then within seconds put them on your laptop or computer and then email them to each other. Um, yeah, we don't understand how it works and I think there's a childlike amazement in a sense with, with how it all works and I'm glad that somebody else does know how it works.